what is going on YouTube? This is Matt Faircloth and we're here at the Bigger Pockets Conference. They let me 45,000. $500 in out of your own pocket. Yeah. Bought a $68,000 value piece of property. Yeah. Be careful you're using the G word, by the way, in real What's estate that? stuff, guaranteed. Yeah. Put a lien on the property yeah. because you're protecting them with a collateralized lien. So that was my first deal. This is success and a question. That's your success, what's your question? How do I embark on the capital journey? What you wanna do is you wanna tell the story of what you've done already. And if people start getting confused, they are going to put their wallet back in their pocket. <laughs> My name is Matt. My company is called the Grocer Group, and we're a real estate company dedicated to transforming lives through real estate. If you like what we do here on this channel, you need to smash that subscribe button, click the like button, and leave a comment below. Now, down to the show. This is Andrew. What's up, man? What's up? Good. And we just met here at Bigger Pockets Conference. Yeah. You mentioned that you read my book, Raising Private Capital. Because of Raising Private Capital, you've had some success, right? Yes. Tell us okay. briefly about you, introduce okay. yourself, and then also tell us the success you had. Okay, I read his book. Very inspirational, thank you. Then I realized that capital was the barrier for me. I read your book and I said, there's plenty of capital out there. First deal, I reached out to one of my buddies, my mother-in-law, and they agreed to invest in my first deal, which was a lending situation. They lent me 45,000, it appraised at 68. I put $500 into it, it was a distressed seller, not a distressed property, yeah. and refinanced and got all that money out in four months. And I. Five hundred dollars in out of your own pocket. Yeah. Bought a sixty-eight thousand dollar value piece of property. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Give us like a little nugget on the enrollment conversation with your friend that lent you the money. So I basically had to explain the Burr process that I had found a property owner that was in distress and looking at all the comps, knew it was around seventy thousand, and they were willing to give it to me for forty-five. So I needed mm -hmm. forty-five in capital. 45 in capital, what was the what were the loan terms? 10% interest. Okay. Guaranteed for them with a guarantee of I believe six months of interest. Even okay. though I paid them back within four months. Right. Okay. Be careful you're using the G word, by the way, in real What's estate that? stuff. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. you can you can tell, hey, you have collateral, you have a lien on the yes. property, you can yeah. take it if I don't pay you, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But it's tough to say I guarantee. It's we yes. tend to not use that word yeah. in yeah. when Good. we do when we do Good. either private loans or private yep. equity. But ten percent interest, yep. guaranteed six months. Guaranteed what I six love months. about that, uh, guys, is that if Andrew paid the property off in two months, Yay him, but his investors left holding the bag. They're right. gonna, they, money's going to get put to work somewhere yep. else. So he's at least giving them a peace of mind that six yep. months is the minimum interest. Now, how long did you actually hold the product? Hold the loan? Hold the loan for about four months. Great. So the investor got a two-month bonus. Yep. They Absolutely. win. You win. Right? Yep. We actually decided to just do a promissory note. Do a lien on the property. Okay. So that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Let's talk about that and raising private capital a bit about promissory notes. Right. Really, the investors going in without any real protection, any real collateral. Right. They're going in on your word, yes. which I get. You, yeah. This is a man. Good word over They're, here, right? Yeah. People it's I good, knew. good people. people yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But be careful, guys. And I'm not reprimanding no, you, but good. don't do that again. All right. right? Yeah. Put a lien on the property okay. because you're protecting them with a collateralized yeah, lien. There are people that are near to wells out there that are not you yeah. that could go and say, okay, I'm going to take this promissory note, I'm going to go buy this property. You could have gone and put another mortgage on that property yeah. on your own with another private lender. I've seen it done. That's something that people that are not students of raising private capital do. Okay. Yeah. Now, Maybe. that's your success. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Now, you said you had a question, right? Yes. This is a success and a question. That's your success. What's your question? We'll answer here. So that was my first deal. I'm now on my fifth deal Oh, right now. So fifth deal in two years. Love it. Looking at prospects of like raising a fund, mm -hmm. 500 million, something like, how do I go from the one-off deals yep. to raising private capital yep. to do a fund syndication yep. type of thing? How do I embark on the capital journey? I got you. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to tell the story of what you've done already. What interests you? done is he's created a track record of success. You've done five deals. They all work, right? Yep. The first thing you want to do is now I see you got your investor base lined up, right? I made Four. my list of everyone I know right. from the book. Yeah. Man, cool. <laughs> all right. Yep. So you've got your list together. You yep. know, he would present this fund to once it's built, correct? Okay. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to put together a track record list and say, well, 
I bought this deal, 123 Main Street and 356 Second Street, whatever it is, and talk about the beginning, middle, and end and the cash flow structure on that deal, right? Yep. So here's my track record, here's what I've done. Just so you know, I've done these things over the last two years, yep. and I'm going to do more of them. I assume that your fund is gonna do more of those five kind of deals. Yes. Maybe a little scale, a little yes. bigger, right? Okay, got it. And it's gonna be around the same type of deal size and everything like that. Yep. Is the fund going to own those properties as an equity owner alongside you? Is it gonna just lend you the money? Yes, it would be, uh, I'm thinking of a general partner, a limited partner type. Got it, okay. It's raising public capital talks about how yes. to do that too. If you guys wanna raise a little bit of raise capital or get into your first syndication or a fund yep. bottle that's gonna do a few different things kind of thing. Track record first. Okay. okay. Next thing is what does this fund structure look like? Yes. What's the how many slices of the pie do they yeah. get? How many yeah. slices of the pie do you get? Do you give yeah. yourself a raise? Does it bajillion right. different ways you can structure the yeah, 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 all yeah. that fun stuff. I want to keep it simple. I would highly recommend yes, that. I want to keep it simple. Because uh, we have done things that have been more complex and investors yeah. have been like, I feel like yeah, yeah. a yeah. PhD what am I getting, understand what am I this getting thing. Right, and if people start getting confused, they are going to put their wallet back in their pocket, right? They're yeah. not going to invest if yeah. they're confused. As good intentions you may have had, right? Keep it simple for investors to understand because yeah. it makes sense to them, right? And complex things get complex. It right. gets hairy and squirrely and it's easy to just keep it very easy to understand. Track record, fund structure, okay? And then you need to develop a timeline on when you're going to launch and raise and do your first deal. What I highly recommend, I've seen this done as well, have a deal or two lined up as your seed deals. So you want to raise a half million, have, okay, I'm going to place the first 150 into mm -hmm. these properties right here. Mm -hmm. Now, the so way- it's more tangible. Yeah, the it's not just, I'm gonna go and yeah, put yeah. your money into real estate yeah. somewhere yeah. into the world, right? right no, right. you were like, I'm gonna buy those two properties, yeah. I'm gonna buy four yeah. more just like yeah. that. Here are now, the financials. This is yeah. a little bit of a complex thing, Andrew, but you can do this. You can start drawing your capital down as you need it, right? right. You can say, right. okay, John Smith or Jane Doe, you're committing 50K to my property. Right, to my project, to my five hundred thousand dollar fund, mm -hmm. you're going to commit fifty k. So you're ten percent mm -hmm. owner. I'm going to buy one, two, three Main Street and four, five, six Second Street. So I need fifteen thousand of your fifty k. I need it now. Yeah. I need it in the next week. Right. So you draw down their capital as you need it. The reason why that's interesting and why it's a good thing, you don't have to pay the juice on the money, the interest, the press, right. that kind of thing, right. until you pull it down. If it's money's in their pocket, you don't owe anything on it. If it's right. in your pocket, then you do, right? right? So as you find deals, you can draw the capital down. Now, this that model is typically done on way larger things, but there's no yeah. law that says you can't do it on a small deal, right. Right? right? We have made the mistake at the Rosa Group. We make, we make mistakes, but I'm, sure. I'm one of the few syndicators sure. that are willing to actually talk about ours, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So what we did on a prior deal, we did a fund exactly like you're talking, uh -huh. but we draw the capital down at once. Yeah. And that's not a good thing to do. Yeah. If you don't have a place to put the capital, don't draw it. Right. Okay. Right. So that's my other recommendation. Okay. Cool. All right. Does that help? Yes, it does. And the other part is I have consulted an attorney uh, who specializes, well, I didn't even go there, but specializes in this. Um, and they have, a, I know they have a lot of resources. Yeah, so. don't be buying like operating agreements and fund structures off the internet, yeah. guys. I don't want to yeah. hear y'all going to like yeah. Rocket Lawyer or something like that right. to buy LLC right. agreements. Exactly. Don't do that. Real lawyers that are really there to, to form these types of things yeah. on a regular basis are worth every penny. Yes, we, we want Andrew to live a long, long, successful yes. career and not get tripped up on a uh, on a bum operating agreement yeah. or something like that. So cool. I cannot wait to hear what this guy's going to be up to soon. Thank For you. those that want to reach out to you, they're investing in Denver. Or want to hear uh -huh. all about your uh, your market? Uh -huh. Can you tell everybody real quick how they get a hold of you? Yeah, uh, my Instagram is at Mandrew Sees M A N D R E W S E E S. Cool. Probably the best way. Mandrew sees. Look yes. him up on Instagram. Keep an eye on this guy. Let's see where he goes. Cool. All right. Thanks, Thanks for joining guys. us. Thanks, cool. Matt. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great and profitable week.